The Eiffel Tower had an ethereal glow to it as Taylor Swift walked off the stage after a show-stopping conclusion in Paris. She could hear the crowd's roar, which was both familiar and exciting. That being said, tonight there was a different kind of excitement bubbling below the surface. Travis Kelsey, who was backstage, was waiting for her with sunflowers in his arms. The media was crazy about their friendship, which started quickly and grew after the Super Bowl. Taylor had a plan for tonight. Hey, babe, Travis said with a smile and love in his eyes. Swift responded, hey, taking a deep breath. Can we talk? The city lights could be seen through the window as they sat down on a soft silk couch. Travis, Taylor said in a soft but strong voice, this tour, it's been amazing. It's a dream come true to see these cities sing along to every song from every age. Travis nodded, and his eyes didn't move. Seeing you on that stage, you're unreal. But, Taylor went on, it's also tiring. The constant travel and stress make me want stability sometimes. Travis's face showed a hint of worry. Comfort? Do you mean with us? Yes, Taylor told him as he squeezed his hand. With us. But also, with life. She took a big breath in. Look, the media is going crazy. There are rumors of an engagement, and... And? Travis asked with a frown on his face. Taylor told him, I love you, but I don't want the tour to get in the way of a proposal. It has to be. She looked for the right word and finally said, genuine, just us. Travis's face became less angry. Okay, I get it. You wouldn't want this important to be boiled down to a title. Exactly, Taylor said with a smile, feeling calm. So, here's what I propose. She put out a finger. 1. Don't beg on tour. Let's wait until everything is over and calms down. Travis laughed. Deal. Also, who else could steal the show from Taylor Swift on tour? Taylor had a laugh. Secondly, she said with a smile, surprise me. Surprise you? With anything, Taylor smiled. A picnic under the stars, a hike in the mountains, a serenade on your balcony with a boombox, something unexpected, something truly you. Travis smiled, and his eyes twinkled with mischief, just like Taylor's. I'll take the challenge, Miss Swift. Think of it as done. For the rest of the European trip, there was a new energy. Every place was a secret adventure, and every moment they stole together showed how close they were growing. Because there wasn't a stadium plan, the news outlets were full of guesses. But Taylor and Travis were happy about their secret deal, which included getting engaged in the future. Taylor knew something amazing was going to happen when the Berlin show's last curtain fell. She held Travis's hand, ready for whatever surprise lay ahead. Her heart was full of excitement, and a love song was brewing in her soul. In the late evening light in Paris, Taylor Swift leaned against the wall with her phone clenched in her hand. Below, the city was alive with energy before the show, which was very different from the chaos she was feeling inside. Travis, who was always there for his girlfriend, came out of the room with a smile on his face. He put his arms around her and asked, are you ready to take over Paris for the second night? Taylor tried hard to smile. Almost. I need to talk about something. Travis's smile got a little weaker. Many people thought they were going to get engaged soon after meeting for almost a year. He braced himself, and the beat of his heart was familiar. See, with the tour. Taylor started to fiddle with her phone case and then stopped. Take your time, Travis told her as he pulled her in close. Okay, she said with a sigh. First, promise me you won't propose on tour. Travis opened his eyes. There was a lot of pressure, and the media was always making guesses. He felt relieved, which was a cool contrast to the sadness that was still there. Certainly. It was never going to turn out the way I planned it. He got a squeeze from Taylor. Thanks. Second, promise me you'll be at Wembley. Travis laughed. I could not miss it for the world. Eight shows that were completely sold out, Tay? That is famous. She said, good, with a sly grin back on her face. Because I have something planned for London. 
Travis felt a rush of excitement go through him. Was that an oblique hint? Something big? There was a smile. Let's just say, under the Wembley lights, anything is possible. The rest of the European part of the tour was a blur of roaring crowds, sold-out stadiums, and short breaks between sound checks. Taylor was both excited and scared by the weight of her secret plan. The day of the first show at Wembley finally came. There were a lot of jitters backstage. Taylor walked around with a small velvet box in her bag. She was wearing a red dress that sparkled. You good, Tay? Travis asked with worry written all over his face. She took a big breath and said, just a few butterflies. Wish me luck. His kiss was a promise and an agreement for what it was worth. As the crowd's roar grew, Taylor took the stage, and the energy was electric. Sometime during the, speak now, part, which was about love and sadness, she felt a familiar pull at her heart. This time, though, it wasn't sadness. There was hope. When Taylor got to the end of, Enchanted, she took a big breath. She began, London, her voice shaking with emotion. This next song is for someone who makes every day an adventure. The light shined on Travis, who was standing in a marked box with a nervous smile on his face. The stadium was filled with the first sounds of Long Live, a song about never ending. As the song hit its peak, Taylor held out the velvet box. Inside, there was a single diamond ring that caught the light. The cameras flashed a thousand times faster than the stage lights as the crowd roared. Travis's eyes got big, and he cracked a smile. He said, yes, but the noise made it hard to hear. Later, as the stars came out over London, Taylor put the ring on his finger. You said Wembley, she said in a low voice, smiling happily. Travis drew her in. He replied, and you made it legendary. As Taylor Swift got off the tour bus, the Seine was a dark rose color because it was getting dark in Paris. Europe was just as excited about the era's tour as the United States was, and the roar of the crowd every night was a powerful mix of pure joy and memories. At the same time, Taylor had a small doubt that had grown in the middle of all the party fun. Travis was coming from Kansas City to see her shows in London tonight. During the tour, he was a rock of support. His loud laugh could be heard backstage, and his shirt was always visible in the front row. But as the cities went by, the question that kept popping up in the background of their talks got bigger, was it time to take the next step? On stage, Taylor's dressing room was filled with the familiar smell of vanilla candles and lavender oil. It was what she did before the show, a moment of calm before the excitement. But tonight, she couldn't pay attention to the carefully chosen music or the rack of shiny outfits. She finally took a big breath, picked up the phone, and called Travis. She felt safe and at ease in his voice. He said, hey, pretty. Just touched down in London, can't wait to see you rock Wembley. Taylor responded, hey, Trav, but her voice was shaky. There's something I need to talk to you about. The time gap didn't matter because they were talking so quickly that it felt like they had been talking for hours. Taylor talked about how her feelings were all over the place. She was happy about the tour, but she also wanted to make a more lasting commitment. She asked for two things. To start, she told him not to ask her to marry him on the tour. These shows are about celebrating the eras, she told us, and I don't want anything to overshadow that. Travis, who was always understanding, agreed right away. After that, she made her second request, a little tense. When the tour wraps, she stated, let's talk about forever, okay? After a beat of quiet, Travis let out a low laugh. Tay, he said with a heavy heart, you know I've been waiting for you to say that. Taylor felt relieved and happy all at once. The European part of the show was going to be crazy, but she felt more determined than ever before. The crowd would roar not only for her music, but also for the bright future that was just around the corner, one that she was finally ready to accept with Travis.